Hello, in this session, we're gonna talk about how to fold forward to get your back to be long and strong. You'll be sitting with your feet flat on the floor. Your hip bones need to be higher than your kneecaps when you sit. You can either elevate your chair, or add some cushions to elevate your seat higher away from the floor so that your spine can move freely. Sitting up nice and tall. I'll face the side, it might be easier for you to see. Feet are flat on the floor, keeping your lower body very still, so from your hips to your ribs. As you exhale, all that you do is just bring your chin towards your chest, looking down, only as far as you have comfort. Try not to lean forward here. Easy. Breathing in. And exhale, just reverse that. Slowly roll the back of your head up an imaginary wall behind you, sitting up tall. Breathing in. And do that again. Exhale, chin towards chest, just gently and slowly without leaning your body forward at all. It really gives your back a nice sense of a long stretch. Breathing in. And exhale all the way up tall. Most injuries occur when fibers are lengthening. So the down phase of a bicep curl is actually when injuries happen the most. And that's what you're focusing on here. Bring your chin to your chest, actually a loaded weight bearing exercise for the back of your neck and the whole back of your body eventually, breathing in. And exhale, just slowly bring it up nice and tall. We're gonna add on to that, inhale. Exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. Stay here, breathing in. Now, keeping your waist over your hips, you're gonna bring your nose toward your navel, your shoulders and upper middle back and round forward. So my shoulders are in front of my hips. Hands be supported on your legs there, breathing in. As you exhale, keep your chin to your chest. You're gonna bring the ribs and shoulders back over the hips directly, keeping your chin to your chest, breathing in. And exhale, slowly roll the back of your head up and imagine a roll behind you. Do that again, grow tall, breathing in. Exhale, chin towards your chest, body stays vertical. Breathing in, keeping your waist over the hips, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest more and nose toward your navel. Shoulders go forward of the hips, but the hips stay over the waist, direct, waist stays over your hips directly. Breathing in, and exhale, slowly roll back up tall, shoulders over hips, chin towards chest, still. Breathing in. And exhale, slowly roll the back of your head up an imaginary wall behind you. Head is heavy, eyes come level, last. Breathing in. Exhale, chin towards chest first, and that should feel much better already. Breathing in with more ease and strength. Exhale, nose toward your navel, shoulders go forward of your hips. Try not to let the hips rock back. You still keep your waist over the hips directly. Stay here. That gives you a stronger position of, uh, to operate from. And as you exhale again, reverse. Bring your ribs and shoulders back over your hips. Chin towards your chest. Breathing in. And exhale slowly, slowly, slowly. Roll all the way up to vertical. Adding on to that, you're doing really well. Exhale, chin towards chest first. Breathing in. Then exhale. Shoulders, middle back, go forward. Breathing in now. As you exhale, the crown of your head reaches down towards the floor. Support your weight with your hands on your arms or legs. Hands on your arms. Your hands are already on your arms. Hands and arms on your legs. Going as far forward as you have comfort. Stay here. Breathing in. Now as you exhale, you're going to roll back. You're going to bring... Mm -hmm your sit bones onto the bench, mm -hmm. breathing in, like you're sitting on them. Exhale, you're gonna bring your shoulders and ribs over your hips directly, breathing in. And exhale, roll your head up a wall behind you, head is heavy, eyes come level, last. Let's do that again, breathing in. Exhale, chin towards chest first, shoulders over hips, and breathing in. Then it's waist over hips, Curl forward, shoulders go in front of the hips. Stay there, breathing in. And as you exhale, now your waist gets to go forward, like trying to roll yourself up into a gentle little ball here. Chin towards chest, easy, stay. You're trying to peer under the chair behind you, breathing in. 
Keeping your chin to your chest, you're gonna roll backwards, bring your nose towards your navel. Sit bones, come on the bench. Your lower back is, waist is over the hips. Exhale, roll up, you're gonna arch your back to help you here. Ribs and shoulders over hips, chin still towards your chest, breathing in. Exhale, roll the back of your neck up a wall behind you, head is heavy, eyes come level last. One more time for that whole sequence. Exhale, chin towards your chest first. Stay there, breathing in to grow tall, keeping your waist over your hips, just round your upper middle back, shoulders go forward of your hips. Stay there, breathing in. Now exhale, trying to roll your spine up more, your waist goes forward of your hips, curl up. Mm -hmm. Curl yourself up into a little ball shape. Breathing in. Exhale, you're gonna bring the waist back over your hips directly. Breathing in. As you roll up, you're gonna arch your lower back there. It'll help you to bring your ribs and shoulders over your hips directly. Breathing in. And exhale, slowly articulate all the way up nice and tall, vertical. That is a great series to practice. You can do it incrementally like that. First your head a couple times, then your head and upper body, then the whole spine rolling down gently. You'll find that it really helps give your body length, but also strength. Again, the curling forward is actually a slow, controlled muscular and soft tissue contraction that's really beneficial for you. Now, you can also do that in a bit of a twist. So you can twist to one leg a little bit. We're just gonna go for it. Exhale, chin to chest first. Stay there, breathing in. Then exhale, your shoulders go forward. Waist still over hips directly. And as you exhale, your whole body can go forward over that one leg gently, breathing in. Exhale, you're gonna bring your waist over hips directly, your spine is rounded. Now, if you arch your lower back here, that will help you stack your ribs and shoulders over your hips, even though you're twisting, breathing in. And as you exhale, slowly roll the back of your head up an imaginary wall behind you to grow tall. You have two legs, thank God, other side. My arms are just twisting towards my legs here, staying tall. Exhale, just your chin toward your chest in this twist, breathing in. And as you exhale, waist stays over hips, just your upper middle back going forward, shoulders in front of hips here. Breathing in. Now exhale, now your waist gets to go forward as you curl and dive down more. Stay in that gentle twist, breathing in. Exhale, reverse, chin towards your chest. Bring your waist over your hips, nose towards the side of your navel. Breathing in. As you roll up, you're gonna arch your lower back that will help get your ribs and shoulders to be over the hips directly. Breathing in. And as you exhale, slowly roll the back of your head up an imaginary wall behind you, nice and tall. And then come center. And that is a really, really great foundational practice to have. Now, a little stretch to do at the end of all of that would be really great. Yeah. So you can have something in front of you need to balance. That's totally fine, right? Totally understandable. You have your front knee bent, your back leg long, both knees face forward. Your toes may not face forward, but the knees need to go forward like they're on tracks. Hold on, just make a balance if you need it. All they do is keeping the back heel bone on the floor, bend the back knee, and then straighten it. And if there's no bend there, just bring that foot a little closer and it'll bend some more there, a little bit. Easy breathe, and then return. Great job. Just bend the back knee, three. Really great work here, and then return. Again, bend the back knee, two. Front leg just stays fairly still. Again, bend the back knee. Mm -hmm. Stretch. Now, as you bend the back knee, twist your torso towards that front thigh. Hold on to something for balance. That's fine. Untwist, straighten. Same thing. Twist towards the front thigh as you bend that back knee. Four. Mm -hmm. Untwist to return. Bend, rotate. Three. Really great job. Untwist to return. Bend, rotate. Two. Mm -hmm. Untwist to return. Bend, rotate. One. Great job. Untwist to return. Bend both knees. And I'm going to switch sides. I'm going to face the other way just so it's a little easier to see what's going on. Hopefully, right? Front leg bent, back leg long. Her legs are hip distance apart so they're not like a tightrope. 
They're about hip distance apart, front knee bent. Easy, just bend your back knee, keeping the very back of the back heel on the floor and straighten it. Keep the very back part of that back heel on the floor as you bend the knee. There's nothing wrong with lifting, that's just a different exercise and then return. Here, I'm trying to really get you as, to as much, bend your ankle as much as you can, which you'll do and then straighten if the back heel stays down, breathe deeply. You might feel more movement if the back heel is, but you're not necessarily bending the back ankle more in this direction, breathe deeply, bend. Mm -hmm. Adding on, as you bend the back knee, twist your torso towards that front leg, and then straighten the back leg of your that's all you do. Bend, twist, rotate, four. Really great job. Unwind, return. Exhale, bend, twist, rotate, three. Really great job. Return. Bend, twist, rotate, two. Excellent work. One more time. Bend, twist, rotate. Really great job. And then return. Bend both knees and step forward. Great job there. So you can see it doesn't take long to get some pliability through your body. And this is a great thing to do, a nice sequence of the sitting, curling, forward, and a little bit of standing throughout the day. It doesn't take, take long. It could just be your head and neck first, right? That is a great thing to do because we spend so much time generally with our neck in an arched position that to do the opposite is quite foundational and quite strengthening and therefore lovely. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Eric. I look forward to exercising with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.